Rossi, thanks for joining us. We just witnessed an incredible game and a penalty shootout to settle it. Not the result you'd have wanted, but talk us through your kind of feelings right now after that. Uh, it's always a it's always a difficult one after the game because emotions are running high. But first half, I would say I was disappointed, but I was a little bit a little bit bored. That's the word I used it at half time. Is bored. We were, we were playing boring football, two sideways, two backwards. Not going anywhere with possession, weren't penetrating, and I thought um, we could have done that better. And that's one strength of our game that we are good at, and I think we showed the first half. Um, we changed it at half time, uh, brought young Toby Coker on, who I must say added a real good bit of energy in midfield, moving that none out to the left because we know his strengths is 1v1s. Um, and, it, and it started swinging in our favour, and you know, we unfortunately went 2 0 down. But I said to the players at the end, uh, I'm so proud of their, their second half performance in terms of being 2 0 down against senior side um, with uh, a lot of young players in that squad. And, you know, bought young Rio Connor one, who's 15 still. And with his first touch, he's, he's, you know, he's played the ball forward into, into Nana, which, which was the catalyst to get the game going again. And they never stopped. And great to see Wesley score. Um, he knows I've been on him about him about scoring more goals, um, staying in central positions, and then you know with Joe Payne, that <laughs> was an unbelievable goal. Um, and full credit to him, not just the goal. He, I thought he defended superbly tonight, um, and is really maturing, which is which is really pleasing to see. Talked about rock and roll football beforehand. That yeah. second half certainly had it. A two 0 down, you threw everything at them, and there must be a great deal of pleasure from your point of view at seeing your side come back and you know not fold at that point against a more experienced team. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, there's, there's, there's stuff we can still improve on, but you know this is this is the part of development for these lads. Um, but it certainly was a roller coaster, and it certainly lived up to the rock and roll nature of the game. And a lot again, the character and the attitude from going two 0 down um, to getting it back to three two, and you know a little bit of shame that we couldn't keep it three two and go to the next round, but. More than happy with what I've seen tonight. And in terms of the penalty shootout, another experience that they probably weren't anticipating. Had you kind of prepared for that, planned for that eventuality at all? Or um, no, I think sometimes you you can't. You know, it's a lottery. Mm. Um, what was said after the game, uh, sorry, after the final whistle, for penalties is be confident, be brave. Um, if you want to take one, you take one. Put your hands up, and we we saw the order out. Um, but listen, you, you, you score some, you miss some. The best players in the world miss penalties. So it's, um, I'm not, I'm not, not fussed with that. And in terms of all the different aspects of tonight, I think we've seen why these games are so important. Difficult conditions at times, the shootout, baying crowd, physical team Enfield, good team Enfield, and it all comes together and it's valuable, isn't it? Yeah, actually, full, full credit to Enfield. I think they set out really, really well. Um, nice to see some former players here in Harold Joseph and Keir Dixon. And also standing goalie Scott Shulman was academy coach here four years ago, um, and, and they played some really good stuff. Um, they played, you know, high edge on the counter attack for us, and, uh, and we had to deal with it. And they fully deserved their three goals. So you know, great, great for the lads to put them aside on the front lights again, um, and, a, and a nice crowd there to uh, to get their face bouncing a little bit. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Rossi. No worries, mate.